is from the library. So this is what's on my nightstand this week. Wild Feminine, Tammy Lynn Kent. And here's a gem I found that I want to share with y'all. Um, this just sums up for me the what it means to be us, life. But more importantly, if you have a female body, be a woman. We operate so differently and there is so little information out in the world or research that's been done on women's health. Most of our modern medicine is based on the experience of man. <laughs> Most of our entertainment, our spirituality is based on the experience of man and women have to go and tweak. So in terms of embracing being a witch, which means defining my spiritual path for myself to me, using my my own just emotions and senses and the the that spark that we're all born with that consciousness and the depth of sensory memory on our unconscious of everything we have experienced and I call that the divine creative intelligence of she because it's filtered through the female experience, the female biological drive um, through the society experience of what it means to be female and how we hold our body differently and where we carry muscle tension, chronic muscle tension from being in survival mode, protecting ourselves. So she, this is what she calls the ecology of women. And I'm with my, I've mentioned many times. So I have a traumatic brain injury. So I have little things I do, like I'll tweak words in certain things. If it's not flowing in my head, the way the author wrote it, I will rearrange the words so I'm better able to assimilate. So this is not an exact quote. If you want an exact quote, it's just getting the book. But this is my tweaked version. <laughs> Women have their own ecology, the rhythms of natural cycles that serve to guide us in various ways. And I have in parentheses sense memory in communicating and connecting and creating with our own outer world. These interactions with our landscapes and these interactions with our she body, our, our feminine experience of existing in this world and interacting is where we cultivate and transform our creations. Right? Cultivate and transform our creations. Our ahas, our heart's desires that pull. When we change the patterns with our whole body, our whole experience, cellular, creative, conscious, we utilize the energy of our home systems, our, our organs, our lymphatic system, our muscular system, our bone system, our nervous system, our immune system. With focus and alignment, and I throw this in from a good friend of mine, um, a wonderful t teacher I had who said crazy love and then he had one night we had had this great conversation he said women are in so much pain they've been hurt so much by men he goes speak your story speak your healing journey speak how you've 
navigated the world of growing up with sexual trauma and PTSD and having triggers and not knowing what the fuck they were. Just, it all fell under the umbrella of crazy. So, when you think about how, what your experiences are as a woman, this affects our energies of how we cultivate and transform creation in this world, in our relationships, in our work, in our spiritual path, in our creative path. We can, so she goes on, we can change the energy we draw from our environment and change our capacity for manifesting our creations. 100%, 100% fucking true. I used to think like self-love, self-empowerment was all bullshit. And when I finally was in so much pain where I was like, I'll give anything a fucking try. Um, oops, little hand tremor I sometimes get. Um, says we, we change the energy we draw from our environment. So when we look around our environment and we're just really honest with us, what is a fuck no? What is a fuck yes? What do I want to keep doing? Who do I want to get this fucking far away from as possible? No matter how much I love them, I do not trust this person. Um, when you start being real about what the fuck is going on around you and you start not, you know, you don't have to burn yourself with your light. But you go in with warmth and you start small and you begin doing little things and you expand that muscle of self-commitment. That transforms the self-love. And it changes our capacity for manifesting creation. So it also changes when we change our values, when we change our beliefs, when we look at what is going on in our world. Are we constantly in survivor mode where we're looking to see what we can tweak and change and for surviving, or are we looking at that, that huge dashboard that, you know, that system within us where we take the sensory information and we weigh it. Is it good? Is it bad? Is it helping us survive? Is it something that is going to deplete our resources? When we begin looking at that dial differently on how is it going to create progress for what it is that we are connected to? How are we going to create progress with our joy, with our creation, with our love? When we start looking at the challenges that come our way and we look at how to move through this challenge to maximize our resources and get back on track with what is our highest value, then we no longer obsess about that shit. Um, the other thing I added was it, 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 when we consciously connect to our heart power, when we're consciously truthful about what is in our heart and for whatever reason we needed to hire, hide that for survival, when we start bringing that up to our own consciousness, that's what I call the she magic. Our ability as women to manifest from our creations. Um, and our body is made to do this. Now trauma, trauma disconnects our trust. Trauma disconnects our intuition. If, if we suffer because we're surviving in fear and tension and our health is disrupted from our systems running too hot when we are in chronic constant pain, stuffing away what we don't want to look at. So we need to bring our ecology and our biology. We need to connect and nourish to manifest our and increase our capacity for creation. Mwah. Happy Magic Monday. Peace out.